Well, I haven't spoken of Star Wars in a while, and it seems that now, apparently, that because Star Wars isn't doing very hot anymore, all the old movies were racist and misogynistic. Go figure that this would be the next story coming out of Star Wars. I mean, these this is just getting old right now. George Lucas, when he made the original Star Wars, he went against the grain. He went against the Writers Guild and actually got a lot of feedback and backlash from the Writers Guild to the point that he got kicked out of the Writers Guild because he wanted to depict things very differently. He wanted to do things differently when it came to Star Wars. He wanted to tell a completely different style of tale. Now we have George Lucas rejects accusation that original Star Wars films were racist and misogynistic. The idea is all people are equal. I mean, this is from Bounding in the comments. Before we get fully into the article, please do me a favor, or do yourself a favor at least, and subscribe to the channel today. In delivering a massive blow to one of the most prominent yet false narratives to ever surround a piece of media, Star Wars creator George Lucas has flat out rejected the idea that the franchise was a bastion of racism and misogyny prior to being sold to Disney. The esteemed filmmaker pushed back against the accusations as regularly touted by sequel trilogy fans and even the accolade star Jodie Smith-Turner in defense of Disney's continued attempt to performally diversify the galaxy far, far away. While speaking to attendees of the 2024 Keynes in film festival following his reception in an honorary vision of the event's directorial highest award, the... Palmy Oldar, reflecting on the claims that the six Star Wars films were somehow not diverse as per the recap of his appearance provided by uh, Variety, Ellis Schaefer, Lucas asserted they would say it's all white men, most of the people are aliens. And this was the very, very difference in how George Lucas wanted to tell his tale. Back in the days of Star Wars and Star Trek, there was a divide between the two. Star Trek was a much more different scenario. It focused more on the sci-fi, but there was a rule back at that time that all aliens must be depicted as human-like, where George Lucas wanted to go against that grain and wanted to actually make aliens that looked very differently. Look at Yoda. Look at the cantina with the aliens that were in there. They looked very different than humans. They had a very different story altogether. They weren't necessarily human-like, and that was where the major part, sticking point of this back at, at during his time, where part of it got diverted. The other part was that George Lucas wanted to go against the the film writing guild because he didn't want to put the names of the stars at the very beginning of the movie he wanted the beginning scroll why we see the star wars scroll go across the screen those two ideas were the reasons why the writers guild didn't like george lucas and why this continues and now we see this today the writer guild you've seen many of the unions or many of the Writers Guild go on strike over Hollywood because they're demanding changes to the way they treat many different people in the industry. They're saying things are not diverse enough. They're saying it's it's a completely utter lie and fabrication of the story. And this is why we're not seeing good movies coming out anymore. Why the movies that we see are absolutely just filled with this diversity quota that has now been pushed upon all of us. Also, if people didn't know, Carrie Fisher was immense help for a lot of what George Lucas did, especially with Leia. After a scene would happen, Carrie Fisher actually took a step back and said, this isn't what Leia would do, she would do this instead, and he took a lot of that to heart. Star Wars 1977 credited writer was George Lucas, but Star Wars how was the big break for Fisher as an actor, but also started her writing career in Hollywood movies. So for the people coming out and saying that the movies were full of misogynistic, sexist stuff, Carrie Fisher helped write these things. 
There is absolutely no reason to even do that to bring this down other to try and discredit the George Lucas Star Wars for what they were back in the day. They were amazing movies and there's no reason to discredit that at all. To this end, Lucas then noticed throughout the franchise the only beings that faced any sort of discrimination were robots. A decision he made more as a prediction of the future rather than commentary on the present. That was a way of saying, you know, people are always discriminating against something and sooner or later, that's what's going to happen, explained Lucas. I mean, we're already starting to see with AI saying, well, we can't trust these robots. And this goes full circle. This is this was a man that had a vision of what was to come and putting it down. How would you tell a Jedi opera in space that's what this was that's where this went and it's was light years ahead of its time for 1977 no, we're in 2024 we're talking light years ahead of, ahead of its time it's absolutely crazy in regards to the topic of the original and sequel trilogy non-white representation the director then noted in the first one there were a few Tussinarians who were dark and in the second one I had Billy Williams and the prequels which they were also criticized. I had Sam Jackson, he wasn't a scoundrel like Lando, he was one of the top Jedi. So where's the diversity? Where, where was it not being inclusive? Everyone already was. And this is the stories that have gone through. This is where video games, Hollywood, movies, all of these things, they're pushing this diversity matters BS when it already is there. The inclusivity in all of these movies, in these games, they've always been there. And I honestly don't understand why these narrative design companies decided to prop up and say, we need to do more when it was already there. These games, these movies, they were already very inclusive and very diverse. When you can see it on the record that they that people were there, that it didn't matter it, what their skin color was, that they just could act and do the roles very uniquely well. Carrie Fisher, absolute princess of Star Wars. She pushed for change at the time of that. I remember going to the panel when she came here in Edmonton and sitting there and listening to that. And she talked about things that were different in Hollywood then, what she had pushed forward, what she fought for, still having that inclusivity, but not putting it up on a pillar by putting everyone first and not just rewriting the stories because of, of being a woman or being a different skin color by actually doing something more about it. This is absolutely ridiculous because the stories have moved along the entire time. And now we sit here, we, we, we have to sit here and get completely told that we're being bigots or being misogynistic because we're not propping people up when they were already being propped up in the first place. We stories come out that people absolutely don't like because it does a disservice to it all. And then you get called, you get called everything under the sun because no one wants to watch the shit ass movie because they made it first. The diversity wasn't first. It's good storytelling and good design that will promote these things. And then it comes along this top down to the bottom. It doesn't work. You need to build someone up from the bottom up. Anyway, I'm your Prod Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon. <laughs>